All I'm asking is for is a little bit of love, brother. What's up, guys? So check it out. Um, I have a really good video for, for you today. This has really been requested a few times. And what it's gonna be talking about is how much should you spend on advertising? Swoosh. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna... No, that's exactly what I want. After the swoosh, then you're gonna come back to me somewhere else. Okay. That's what I did swish for. I did the swish faster. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'm about to share something with you guys today that came from a guy that makes millions of dollars in advertising. What I want to talk to you guys today about is I want you to talk about how much, how, what, and where you should spend on advertising. So I'm going to tell you what I was taught about advertising. Don't take what I've been taught for, for, for gospel, just use what I tell you, kind of go from what you're doing already and maybe you can implement some things that I teach you or share with you today. I try to not to use the word teach because it's just my example. I can't tell you that I, I'm teaching you anything. Maybe what I'm gonna tell you isn't working as good as what you're doing already. Real exciting week. I picked up an airplane for my daughter and me and Here comes the new airplane. Exciting hap stuff happening this week. I was down in Virginia. Big shout out to Central Virginia Aviation. And we're gonna put them, we're gonna link them in this video. And they sold me an airplane and I bought an airplane for me and my daughter. And you know, Matt's gonna show you some video of the airplane. Shoo. It's finally arrived all the way from Virginia. When you're putting your advertising together, you gotta understand something guys, it is not a sprint. It's a marathon. You wanna take your advertising, not one thing is gonna work for you. If it does, it's lucky. But if one thing works for you, it's not gonna be long term. So what you wanna do is you wanna find things that'll work for you long term. Because like I said, it's a marathon. It's not the 500 yard sprint. It's something that you wanna just work on and that's gonna work for you and be slow and steady, just like the tortoise. I've had things that's worked for me great. Like if we have a, a storm, that's great. You're busy for a week and then next thing you know, you're, you're dead again. So a storm can be considered, you know, indirect advertising, but it's the wrong kind of advertising. What you want is something that's going to take you slow and steady. Okay. So what the first thing I want to um, talk to you about is budgets of advertising. Budgets of advertising are going to be the most heated debates that you ever have. I was working for a customer one time and he was a great guy. And he says, hey, I just came in from Italy. And I said, what did you do in Italy? And he says, I'm an advertiser. What people do, the companies are struggling. They'll bring me in and I'll try to help turn their company around. I said, that's great. I was just kind of getting started at the time, advertising a lot because I had other businesses that really didn't need to advertise. I was in construction. And I said, well, how much this business is, is really struggling with advertising. How much should I spend on advertising? He says 30 to 40% of your revenue should be on advertising. I said, are you crazy? So what he's telling me is if you make a million dollars, let's say you, you collect a million dollars for the year, you should spend $400,000 of that on marketing. That's what he told me. I'm not telling you he's right or wrong. I'm just telling you that the guy was a little, he, he went a little high on me. Now you got to remember the guy that's in charge of your marketing budget, he wants to spend money. He wants to look good. So he wants the biggest budget possible to, um, you know, to make him look good and to say, Hey, we made $3 million last year, but it cost you a half a million dollars in advertising budget. Personally, if you're under a million dollars, I don't think you should hire a marketing company. I just don't think that there's going to be money in it because they're going to want to make a profit. And to be quite honest with you, I think a dumpster company is easy enough to where you don't have to hire a marketing company. And I'm going to go through the process of what we do as far as advertising. Okay. The first thing I ever did was Google advertising. We set up a little Google account and I'll tell you what, most money I ever made. I had one truck, I had three dumpsters at the time. That's before I bought like 15 more. And I was making, I was killing it. I had an old truck, no payments. And 
I, I spent a few bucks on Google. I was happy. I did three dumpsters a day or a, a week and it was great. I had the most fun of my life. So that's how I started the business. I did a little bit of Google. Now, if, if I'm doing, let's say, I'll, I'll throw some rough numbers out there. Let's say you're doing $2 million a year. My, my budget would be, personally would be $200,000. You wanna constantly be updating your social media. So you wanna constantly be hitting your Facebook pages, your Instagram, and constantly be trying to be in your, in your customer's face. Not in a way that is, is what you're thinking. The way I try to do it, and I'll give you a perfect example, this channel. I don't do this for advertising. I more or less do this channel because I enjoy helping other people out and sharing my experience. If you have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't necessarily just say, hey, look how great we are. We just got this dumpster in the backyard and constantly trying to promote yourself. People know they're on your channel and they'll say, hey, I'm on XYZ dumpster channel, but they showed me this like cute video of a puppy or they showed me like what not to do or oh look what we found in our dumpster or look what we found in our dumpster and we gave it back to the customer stuff like that not that you're trying to hoodwink them and try and but just trying to engage your company and just be a truly honest friendly person and engage with people so I'm, I'm standing here like all cool with my foot on the truck because I'm about to beg you for something. Please like and subscribe. Listen guys, I do this for you. If you can reach down, smash the, smash the subscribe button. And another thing too is if you hit the little um, bell that gives you a notification when we put up a, a new video, that would really help me out. That's all I'm asking for and I'll continue to put out these videos. You're your friends are gonna be the best people to you to be customers with. So if you just treat people like you're your friend, like I'm doing to you right this very minute, they'll be more comfortable trying to reach out to you to do business. A yard sign is amazing. If you could get a yard sign made for like five to $10, it's a home run. I never thought that a yard sign would work out as good as it did because I have my dumpster in the driveway. I'm like, well, they'll just look at the dumpster. And I haven't done yard signs in a few years, and I'll tell you why. Because it's hard to find yard signs made cheap. Uh, truck signs, I make, if you notice, on all my thrifty dumpster, I make it real big. Thrifty dumpster, phone number, and a website. Make it simple. You're only gonna get people for about five seconds. So if you make this too complicated, cursive, how do you read it, what do you do? Initials work out really good, but you wanna put thrifty, put dumpsters in there somehow, because that's gonna tell people right away. Your name, dumpster company, period. There's nothing else needed. Don't try to make it SRP services. What does SRP services do? Do you do makeup? Do you mow grass? Do you, you know, you know, you helicopter pilot? It could be any services. Try to put dumpsters in the name or at least say so-and-so dumpster service or hauling service or, or if a lot of times in New Jersey, they'll call it containers. Um, just in your area, they might call it um, skiffs in Europe, right? So try to keep what you do in the name. Make sure, dumpster signs. Make sure that your dumpster signs easy to read. If I have a 20 yard container like you see on the truck, I'll put one sign on the front I'll put one sign on the back, and then if it's a 30 yard, two signs on the side, maybe even three, two signs on the other side, and then one or two in the front. And then some of my dumpsters, it says rent me on it, because I'll tell you, one thing that people don't know is that you can rent a dumpster. Do you know the most common question I get is, can anyone rent a dumpster? I thought only contractors could rent a dumpster. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram <laughs> um, and then hold on 4k YouTube 4k Facebook experiences with you all I'm asking is for is a little bit of love brother <laughs> <laughs>